Hi all, I wanted to share with you that we don't always get it right and for whatever reason, this has failed. Two days after I'd finished working on it, it is still bendy, firm to touch, but still bendy. So for whatever reason, the rev resin gods did not want this to work, but I'm not going to throw it away. I am going to save it. <laughs> to incorporate in some project or troubleshoot how I can try and salvage this. But yeah, I'm so sad. It had so much beautiful potential. I think it's maybe because this is too high. Um, but then again, even so, that's not high enough. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a beautiful bendy worm. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so we're here for massive reconstructive surgery. So I know that my resin is good because I cast this afterwards and it is rock solid like it should be. And it's holding its shape. It did add some support here, but because it couldn't touch the sides, there's no support there, so it's still bending. So I've got its arm stretched out on its operating table. This is the last, I, there's a limit, isn't there, between how much you can do there's a limit to how much you can do when it's like this versus you're just chasing it shining and I don't want to lose any resin. But I love the tone in here. I know that it's got a good grip. I still might have to come and add a base, but we'll do that last off when I know what size we're talking about. The concerns I have is it's raised up here. So I'm only going to get to put some resin in here. But then as I turn it up when it's at its second stage, hopefully it'll drip down and add some support to that. Because if I add some resin here and it's nice and thick, but when I bend it over, it's nothing to be on. It's probably going to break it even more, really, because, yes, it's going to sculpt, but it's going to be sculpted in the air with nothing to support it. So this one I'm fairly confident when I put it on, I can stick it to that. So that will go up like that. But I have a feeling I might have to come and rescue this But I do have some spare that I'm going to put on here and I'm going to use the light blue just to contrast from the turquoise I've got here. So my Super Sparkle White's gone in there. I've got 200 mils of resin. Oh, we've got our 20 minute timer started so all the bubbles can come up. 
and then I'll troubleshoot a stage at a time. So hopefully if I get this section done, I might be best. What I might be best doing, thinking out loud, is putting the clear in here so when it dries I can stick it to that. But on this area here, do it so it's going to be long. So I can put it underneath here and curve it around that to give that support. I still might add some resin in here because I want to firm that section up. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just whether I'm going to be able to do a long, thin piece with what I've got there. So I might have to cut another piece for that. Anyway, we wait in 20 minutes until this firms. I want it to be as tacky as possible when I put it on here so it's not going to run down there. Centerpiece love, love contrasting colours. We might be able to do it. It might be ugly, but I'm determined to try and face this. And you know what? Even if it's just on my windowsill and I look at it, I'll be thinking I stuck with it instead of just running away and sulking. Anyway, I still don't understand why. I think maybe I just didn't get my mixture quantities quite right because there is no logical reason. Anyway, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing, and I don't care. Bye bye, see you in 20 minutes. All right, I am a little bit nervous because this is reveal time <laughs> and this is a drastic surgery. I don't even know if it's going to have worked. I don't even know if it's going to be ugly, but let's see what we've got. If it still needs a few tweaks, I'll carry on with it. But if it is, you know, a, a point where it's going to take too much resin to try and fix this, we're going to walk away. That's a promise, okay? You've got to be on my side with that. All right, Sharon, let's do this. 
I think I might need to have to put a base on it because the bottom part is very ugly. All right. Now, because I put the tape on there straight away before it's fully cured, because I normally only add tape to the mould, or should I say to the resin on the very last stage. I normally touch it on the paper. There's definitely a little bit of um, tackiness there. So be careful if you're doing anything like this at home because that will leave a little mark. Because of what it is, I'm not, I'm not that bothered about it. Mm. I just want to see if I can bring this back to life in the words of Evanescent. Yes, I do drop songs a lot. I love music. And if I'm tired, I think in song. All right. Because this is balancing on the top. Uh, not too much stickiness there. Firstly, I'm going to up-tip it because there's some heavy jars in here. And that's going to make it better. And that will give me an idea as to whether it is going to have worked. Or whether we still need to do a bit of reconstructive surgery. I can see it wobbling a little bit. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. It's staying up. It's just a little bit wobbly there. Oh, look at that. It's like teeth coming out. I might have to chop that. Got rid of that, so that's that. It's where I stuck it to it when it was very wet. But I can fill some of that there with um, UV resin and crystals. But it is holding up. And I don't think it's hideous. I don't think it's where I normally could do, but it's it's quite interesting. Just curious if I leave it so it's supported. It's supported. It's now whether I just feel like it's pretty. All right, let me just put the stuff out of the way so I can really focus on it. I feel like it just needs a a big like dish part coming out. Does it? Does it? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, it's balanced but i reckon do a dish maybe a darker color so that part there is ugly where i've had resin on there and it's run down so what i could do is put some crystals on there just to cover it up going down i don't need any at the other side so maybe i can do it as a feature as it comes up there see i'm looking at it as i'm talking as i'm packing I do that a little bit because sometimes when I look at stuff to start with, I can think, oh, no, that's ugly. And then I'll come back with fresh eyes and think, actually, that's not bad at all, is it? It's actually quite pretty. It's the, So the parts I don't like is this bottom, which I can create a dish at the bottom. And I think it probably needs to be purple to tie it all together. Or maybe the dark blue. So there's enough purple there then i've got the turquoise i've got the light blue there so i reckon maybe dark blue a nice solid dark blue thing here just coming out a little bit and then that'll take care of the bottom and then i'm going to run some crystals down the middle here to cover up that gooey mark because that's where i painted on the resin i mean i could stick another piece of resin there and stick it to it this little pad but then that might put the weight too early. But that side's good. That's done what it was meant to do. You got some leakage down there where it run down, but that's all right. That just adds to character to it. So it's really like just the base now I don't like. I'm just going to go around and check that there's no other areas that I really don't like. There was something down there where um, it's come away a little bit. So I'm just going to add some UV redding and crystals to that there. 
Got a little hair there. Got to get rid of that. That part I enjoy. Um, that part is okay. It's solid. Solid, solid. So it's a bit fragile there. They're, they're the only bendy bits, but it's holding its own and it's set. And I quite like the way it's curving. It's like a, a wave splashing in. All right. So UV resin for the crystals and and then I'll um, pour it onto it while it's wet so that'll stick and then it should be flat and if not I can add some and then just some crystals down there. That could look like it's foam dripping down the wave. If I tell you that story do you believe it? It's like a rocking horse. <laughs> it's actually turned into something quite beautiful though. It's definitely like a splash. Anyway, Sharon, you really are just trying to sell yourself on this, but I genuinely do believe it. <laughs> Yay! I can't believe that we've managed to get it to stand up. That was the goal. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. All right, so I'll have to do that on another day. I might have to do it first thing in the morning because... Oh, I've got time now. I could lay it out tonight, lay it curing, because then I only need to drape it into a bowl and then lay it stand, and then I stand this in it.
All right, so this part has cured overnight. Apologies, I never taped you uh, me doing it, but very similar. I just draped it over what was a, a bowl. So I'm just going to remove it. I kept it quite organic. I just wanted it to have like a, a flattish sculpture. So I'm just going to remove it from here and then we're going to see what this is going to look like at the base. Now, one of the bits that are stood up, I think I'm going to just reinforce with some more of the UV resin. It, it, I feel like it's drew just a little bit, not a lot. All right, so very simple thing that I think should add a little bit of value as a base but let's see I quite like that it's this one I just want to support a little bit I'm going to add some UV resin like that one just to create a little bit more support there because it just flops slowly not a lot but it does so we're going to do it so we will add a little bit of resin to stick that so it's I'm just working out do I like it that way I don't like it that way I do like the fact that I can still see the clear green there. I really enjoy that. I think I prefer it that way because this looks like it's gushing up dark through here and then splashing up at the back. And so that's the way it looks from that way. And if I turned it around the other way, which I still like, creates a nice little lip there so you still see that and into the sculpture but I'm losing where I really enjoy there. Yeah I think I'm settling for that way because I like it the way it looks like it's coming up here around there there and you go into that. I would have loved to have kept that but it still looks like it's splashing up. It doesn't devalue and then I think that's it. So I think I just need to add some resin into there to stick that there. And then just a little bit of UV resin just to give this one a little bit more support up like that. And then it does look like they're crashing it in and it's like water splash. So see it bend in there. Definitely needs it. Whereas this one rock solid now because of that UV false pretending wall I put in there. So I think that's the project. Done, done, done. All right, here we go with the final push. So I've got the pink thing here, just because when you add UV red in, in the quantity I did and heat it up, it stays warm for a while and that could cause the sculpture to bend or flop. So it's just to support it while it fully cools down. And I've just mixed up 20 ml of uh, resin I'm just gonna put on the underneath just to glue it together. I'm not worried about bubbles. I'm not gonna add anything to it, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put my mask on now and my gloves and um, yeah. And I'm going to add some weight now to the bottom just to help that connect. And then that one should be good to do a close up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to use some glass here. I want to make sure that's pushing down there and I want to make sure that's still supporting the edge. 
and we are good to go until review time but it's had a lot of surgery but i think we've done it i think it's really interesting all these different layers at least you get to see the different layers of the colors might not be everybody's choices you could have walked away from it i know i've spent a lot of money on fixing this up but i'm going to be really proud at seeing this up on the wall because it tells you of my journey i've not walked away i sulked but i didn't walk away uh, with trouble shooted and um, there's still no reason why it didn't work because all my other sculptures have worked post that it's worked i may have just had a bad day with mixing up my ingredients anyway i'll see you at review time hello everybody welcome back to sharon from Viv vivid days boy what a journey i'm hoping that this going round and round like this is going to make you sleepy so you're not going to focus on all the floors now this piece will not be for sale <laughs> because you know it's had lots of constructive surgery and it's not perfect but when i look at this i will see that i never walked away well, i did sulk for a week let's face it but i came back and i problem solved and lots of encouragement from you people out there for me to continue so thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome that's how you give back to me the artist for sharing my content to you for free and i'm not sponsored by anybody i purchase this all from my own money uh, one, because I love doing art and learning, but two, to share my processes with you and my channel. But what a journey. So after I'd stopped sulking, this just did not cure. It was it did cure as far as it was solid, but it was soft. And I can't put it down to any particular reason other than I must have mixed my chemicals incorrectly because I've used the resin afterwards and absolutely no issues. They've dried firm as they should do. The pigments are the same pigments I've used so i can just put it down to user error but we all have those days but thank you for all your kind words and support and encouragement to keep going so even though this is not perfect i love displaying these around because i still think there's beauty in it and even learns or inspirations i'll get through it and hopefully maybe there's one process in here that you've learned now that you can go back to any sculptures that are flopping and you're having problems with so let's dissect this a little bit so the only original parts really are these from the live and the bit in the middle that you can't see. I then came and added a inside structure and stuck some of my sort of arms to it, such as there, uh, which did create problems and I had to come and fix some, but I am left with a hole there, but I'll accept that that's part of the journey, but at least the teeth have gone that were there. So that gave me some hope and I managed to stick part of the original sculpture to this part while it was tacky. And it did offer some support, but it still wasn't enough. So then I came and did it in two more stages, which was then I mixed the light blue because I felt like I needed a little bit more support. Uh, and I added that after I'd also added the UV resin, creating like a dummy arm there. And I put that there because it was all bitty and there was lots of marks there. And I put gems there because that added support here and made that stiffer. You got instant results as well. Um, and I did the similar thing to the other side. Actually, no, I put plain resin on to start with, but it didn't add the support I wanted. And then I came back and added the UV resin. Ooh, got to get it in the right order. So that provided stiffness to the arm. I only did it on one side to start with, but then I came back and did it on this because it's still drooping. And it's, it is solid now. It is soft still at the top, but I'm hoping that um, it's just going to stay the way it is. And if not, I'll come and add some more UV resin. But you have to work out when to stop on a project and when you spent enough on it. But uh, I then felt that the bottom just needed a little bit more because it was very messy at the bottom. And you may not have wanted to do any of these stages. That's OK. But I feel it's balanced it out. And I'm really happy now that I've got the three different colours from all of these here. And it brings it all together. Now, you also saw me coming in and trying to touch up areas where, because when I was sticking the original sculpture to this one here or the second ones when they were wet, you're going to get to start to see a little bit of, not tackiness, but where you've been. And because there was a lot of pressure on it and it wasn't 100% cured when you're sticking it, because that's what you need, that's when it started to pull away in those areas that I showed you, which is around here. And so I managed to patch most of it up, but I felt that this hole in there, you know what? If it was a wave crashing, it wouldn't be perfect, would it? You'd see gaps and fresh air in there. So it creates a bit of interest. But this was stuck on with UV resin, which also added a little bit of support under here and the crystal. So you saw me do that. And then last but not least, when I attached the final base, I think it provided support and I put my uh, normal resin under there to cure them together. I could have had more 
uh, gems in there but I wanted to stop it because the amount of money <laughs> and labour but I was determined to work through my problems and try and show you some ways that you can try and rescue them but resin is expensive materials are expensive time uh, you know it takes a lot of time and dedication but I've learned quite a few things doing this for future projects now of how to save them or how to do different things so if I do want to do more of these which I have done one of these before it stood up quite nicely it's very solid it's quite ethereal and that's in my room uh, so I am going to go back and where is it get back right back on the saddle and have another go at creating one of these types because I'd really like to do one where it's more uh, ethereal and simple than all these layers having said that I think in the summer when the sun is on this I don't think you're going to get to see some of the colours like it's very translucent there's that super sparkle white in there so when the sun will catch that it's going to sparkle and as it comes around you can see some of those colours um, and crystals I feel add a lot of value but I really love uh, as it's coming round now, that will be the front that I'll look in and then this will be at the back. So it, to me, it's like water splashing up and splashing in and you're getting all those curving and moving motions of it. But what did you think to me showcasing you this? I would have given up and not done it if people didn't keep asking, what is it going to look like? I'm sorry for the people that uh, watch my lives. I didn't get this to you early and I'm sorry that it never worked out, but we are all human. <laughs> we just have those days. It's just what you do with those days that I think builds strength of character and also gives you a little bit of confidence to try the thing. So I'm going to leave you now, but I hope that you enjoyed this. I've got another sculpture coming your way soon that I'm in love with, uh, different colours again. So keep safe, keep creating and come back and visit me again sometime soon. Bye-bye.